why be on LinkedIn? Well, there's lots of reasons, and I decided to get into four points instead of going on and on. But let me talk you through it. LinkedIn has 414 members across the world, and sorry, 414 million members across the world. That's a lot of people, and it's all about connecting with each other. It's all about um, doing business. That's the great thing about LinkedIn, is this is the platform where you're allowed to talk about business. So sometimes we can be a little bit nervous about what we post and what we don't post because it is a business professional platform. What I say to people about that is use your social compass. If you wouldn't do it face to face, then uh, at a networking meeting, then don't do it on LinkedIn. If you would do it in a social setting like down the pub, go do it on Facebook. <laughs> um, really think about LinkedIn as being at a business networking meeting and approach conversations as such. Um, it's a fantastic platform because you are allowed to talk about business, but again, you've still got to have that, be careful about it, and really respect the relationship and how you come across to people. And I think that's where a lot of people have failed on LinkedIn or, or, or worried about LinkedIn because it is actually at this point where you can get it very, very wrong. If you go and hit somebody up with a message and it's all sales focused, all you focus, what you want to achieve, what you want to do, then it's going to hit on a really bad note with that person. Um, it's going to break the rapport. And I'm going to talk to you today about some of the keys of how to build those strong relationships on LinkedIn. And just remember, really, it is just a platform. It is a, a directory. It is a CRM for your business. And it's a way of um, getting your message out there really quick and easy. So. To go through some of these points, LinkedIn is a fantastic thing to follow up with your networking. When you go to a networking event, you're going to be putting in the time to get ready to go, to get your business card sorted out, to um, drive there, walk there. You're going to um, pay for the breakfast or the lunch, and you're going to spend time meeting and talking to people. You're going to get the opportunity to stand up and probably give 60 second pitch. But if you're like most of us, your 60 second pitch, you'll go, oh, I could have done that better. Um, or even if you know what you did say was great, you probably could come up with a hundred different ways of sharing a snippet of information, talking about your business, and there's so much more to you than you can get into a 60 second um, session. But what happens naturally after a networking event now is savvy people who know what they're doing, they'll actually come to LinkedIn and they'll want to connect with you. Now, they're probably building their database more than they are actually interested in the service or the 60 seconds, what you said in um, those 60 seconds. And But the key thing is, is they were there to build a relationship. And what we know is that the people in that room, they are not actually your ideal client. It's the people that they know. So connecting with them is always valuable, always worthwhile. And your LinkedIn profile allows you to build on that 60 seconds. It allows you to say so much more than you could have done. Um, and let's be honest, like most people at a networking event, they're either listening and they'll forget, or they, they're trying to listen, but it's early in the morning and they just go, oh yeah, interesting point, and they go off on one and, and then they're like, what did that person say? <laughs> um, so it is something to be really, really aware of in terms of um, backing up that networking activity. And don't forget, people who have signed up to go, they actually want to meet you. So even if they haven't shown up, if you've got the delegate list, why not reach out to them and say, hey, um, I was at the meeting this morning. I didn't think I saw you. Were you there? Um, I'd love to network with you anyway. How about we connect? Um, and you can start a conversation there on LinkedIn as opposed to actually at the event. Uh, if you didn't get around the whole room, you didn't get to speak to everybody, why not reach out and send a personal message and say, hey, I, I wanted to meet you. If you didn't get to attend, why not say, I didn't get to attend today, but I see that you were, you, you were intending to go. Did you make it? Um, and start that conversation. Now, that is a proactive strategy. It's going out there and reaching out to people. But what's really important when you do that is, is that your LinkedIn profile actually backs it up. People are busy, they don't have time, they want to know why am I relevant to you? Why, why do we need to have this conversation? How do you show up in my world? Um, networking is very much about making referrals and recommending people. They might be saying, well, who are you? Who would I introduce you to? Who do I know? Help them out with a really good LinkedIn profile that adds value, that clearly states what your problem is that you solve. And that's going to really build up and the, the relationship that you're building at that networking event. Suddenly, it's going to go a lot further 
because beyond the 60 seconds they're going to have all this information and knowledge they're going to feel like they know like and trust you because of the way you've written it and they're going to have a sense of actually I could refer you to this person or that person and when your profile is really good it really becomes a fantastic referral resource because it builds that one-on-one -on -one sort of feel like I've spoken to you it brings out your authentic voice it brings out your passion and it allows that person to feel like they, they have had that 60 seconds with you and now they want to follow up and have a more conversation and with the rich content media and everything you can put on there you can really lead a person through their buying decision so if you think that 60 percent of a buying decision is actually now made online in some industries like um, technology it's actually a hundred percent I mean a lot of things I buy I don't talk to a salesperson I just buy it and um, so we've got between 60 to 100 percent of a buying decision being made online when it comes to services you probably are looking at the 60 percent you want to really meet that where it's at. you really want to share all the answers to all the questions and really position yourself as the person that they need to buy from and you can do that with the right content that leads people through the buying decision so I'm going to talk to you about that. So LinkedIn, you know, it's great for following up with people on with networking, um, networking online and offline. It's a great referral resource. Just say to people, just just send them my LinkedIn profile or just introduce me on LinkedIn and we'll we'll follow up on that conversation. That introduction, the natural thing that someone's going to do is go, oh, well, who is this? If they go to a LinkedIn profile and there's nothing there, they go, oh, I'll come back to it later. But if there's something there that's really good, they go, oh, right, yeah, okay. And they'll, they'll get involved immediately and they'll they'll want to, to have follow up on that conversation and um, you can build a following for yourself as well if you're a thought leader if you have a if you're a book you, you're an author and you have a book if you run training courses um, if you have a something to say about a particular topic if you're a salesperson and you there's certain aspects of your um, program that you want to let people know about that you want to stand for like I stand for profiles I really 100% believe that your LinkedIn profile it has to be a grounding point for everything else you do on LinkedIn and actually there's no point investing anything on LinkedIn um, until you've got a good profile because everything you spit out here there and everywhere it all comes back to well who are you what are you about and making that solid impression with your LinkedIn profile and um, so you can really build a following and really set yourself apart in the marketplace um, without spending any money. I'm, I'm building my business and I've won all of my clients without sing, spending a single penny on marketing, apart from a leaflet which I needed uh, for networking um, stuff. It hasn't actually bought me much, I don't think. But you really can get a very strong following and get known in your marketplace across the world for free on LinkedIn. Um, and it's really a place where you can educate on your cause and your mission and build your market. So when I say build your market, Sometimes people don't know that they have a problem that needs solving and therefore they don't know uh, that they need your solution. So um, I'm pretty sure, um, Susie, uh, Heath, you would actually fall into this category that you've got something fantastic to offer that really solves a problem, but no one necessarily knows that they have that problem or that this solution exists. And then that you're the you're the, the person that they can gel with to, to um, get that solution. Actually, Susie, do you want to, um, Susie, do you want to just pop in here what your new business is that you've got coming up? Because I'd love to um, just refer to that a little bit more if I can. Um, but it, it, the, the, the kind of thing that I know Susie does is she has got a new, unique angle and take on things, and it's communicating that and letting people know that. Um, and you can really build that marketplace up and get people talking about you where, and I'll give you an example. Um, sometimes people are running companies and they've got staff that are leaving and they don't know why their staff is leaving and they're just they're just living with it. Like, oh, everyone's unhappy, we're unproductive, people are leaving, my staff costs are high. And they've never been exposed to the fact that actually it could be their leadership style that's the problem. A good LinkedIn profile from a leadership training person will go, actually, did you know that people can leave because of the way you're behaving? Here's some information. Let me give you some reflect, like a freebie reflection on, like do a little test and see what your leadership style is and get a diagnostic. Suddenly, that person's like in the market for leadership training, where they weren't before. They were just like, no, I'm in the market for recruiting. I've got to deal with my high staff turnover. But they didn't know that it was a leadership problem. But your profile can educate them to it and bring them to an awareness that actually that's the problem. 
and then they start being a buyer for leadership training. And also what happens then is they're talking to their, their friends uh, in the evening or networking events and they can get to the point where they're like, oh, did you know? Like, let's discuss this. And it, it wakes everybody else up to the, the problem as well. And they go, oh, okay, yeah, I didn't realize that. Um, so it's a really, really important thing. Um, for, ooh, um, Susie says she's doing cool, called Lady, ooh, hold on, it's jumped. It's called Ladies of the Manor. Oh dear, just don't write any more, otherwise it's going to go up. The Finishing School for Entrepreneurial Women, all about being your brand and etiquette with soul. Okay, cool. So what we've got here is Ladies of the Manor, School for Entrepreneurial Women. It's about bringing that to life and letting people know what it is, why it is that they need that, what, what is um, being your brand, what is etiquette with soul, and allowing people to go, oh, that's what it is, I didn't know that before. And they may be ready to buy today, or they may not be ready to buy, but they can follow that message and follow your line of thinking and get really involved with what you're talking about, um, all on LinkedIn, and any social media, really, um, and really get involved with it. So LinkedIn is a fantastic place to become a thought leader, set yourself up and get a following, and it's totally for free, and have that really fantastic resource base that if I spotted your prob that problem in somebody else, I could go, you need to speak to Susie. And that person will go, oh, okay. They go look at her profile, and boom, yes, I do need to speak to Susie. And Susie gets a strong relationship coming out of there and potentially a new client. Oh.